Welcome to Snark Marks, everybody. We're a very funny podcast out of the Central Valley of California. I'm Andrew. That's Dusty. Hey, hey. It sounds like you almost forgot the intro. I almost said we are uh, a wrestling <laughs> retrospective podcast. <laughs> it has been nigh a hundred episodes since we have been a retro. I, my, I am so tired. I worked 12 hours yesterday that I almost lost a year of my life. <laughs> Andrew went back in time. Dude. So, uh, well, you, we are you almost lost two, time. two years a year. If it's a hundred episodes. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I know I can't do math either. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I learned you, math two years ago. Um, you've, so you've lost it all. Follow us uh, on all the stuff. At Snark Marks Pod on Instagram and Twitter. Dusty's at Smart, Snark Mark D on Twitter. I am at Andrew Idell on Instagram. Oh, did I tell you that my cat went to the emergency vet? No, I think you told me last week that your cat threw He's up. He's puking. He's a puking. Yeah. Cat. Okay. But so, that, we'll, but that you you were not <laughs> you you tried to put your foot down. You were not going to take it to the vet. Yeah, this fucker twisted my arm. So we'll 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 get there. You had something to lead off with, but I forgot that I didn't tell you about that. No, no, no. I'd I'd love to hear it. Um, yeah. Uh, so today, I I try I try very hard, or maybe not so hard recently, to uh, make meal prep every week. Yeah. For my work lunches, right? God, like, it's not easy, is it? No, it yeah. sucks. We have to uh, eat every day. It's like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like, okay, if we are, if we were created, right? Sure. Why do we have to eat so often? <laughs> and, and well, more, more to the point is not so much like, I don't mind making the food. I don't mind, uh, like planning it. It becomes incredibly difficult for me to not, uh, cave at all the other delicious food that seems so much more delicious than the food that I have. On a daily basis, like Just cook better food, dog. What's wrong? Uh, with you? Right. Well, I think that might be the plan because I'm trying to like, okay, here we go. It's like a lot of veggies and low cal and low calorie and like blah blah. And then I'm like, yeah, but the Chick Fil A is literally right there. I can see it, literally see it. And so, uh, this is a personal struggle. I'm aware that uh, I'm I'm weak and I give in. You like you like a treat. I do like a treat. Yeah. Um. So with this this idea in mind, I bought two tri tips from the store last week. I was gonna make tri tip for dinner for the family one day, and then I was gonna cook a, a tri tip at the same time to cut up to have as part of my meal prep for the week, right? And I'm yeah. like, even if this is a twenty dollar tri tip, you cut that up into five days. Extrapolate. That's like, right, yeah. <laughs> that's only like four bucks, which is that, way cheaper. That's my baby. That's my baby's <laughs> tip. <laughs> now if you extrapolate that out. Um, <laughs> I bought an uh trimmed, unseasoned tri tip for the family because I have a pretty good tri tip uh recipe that I've been I nailed it this week, dude. Best tri tip. It I've looked made good. So far. Yeah. Pictures look good. Um and then I bought a seasoned one because they didn't have another one that was unseasoned that I that was trimmed. And I don't know how to trim the fat off of the meat. And I don't want to do that because that seems time consuming. Mm -hmm. So I bought one that was pre-seasoned. Cooked that one up for myself. I hate it. Made me sick. Made you sick? Made me sick. Made my stomach uh, not feel great. Too much like peppery? I have no idea. It was like, but... I'm like, well, I can't eat this because it made me sick two days in a row. <laughs> so I'm not going to just eat it the rest of the week. Fool me once. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, today I'm feeling, ins I've, I've been feeling insane. I'm going to try to get a salad, even if, even a salad from a restaurant. <laughs> I've been feeling insane. Dusty like, Foley do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the we oh we we song we, and dance we, number about we it. can talk about that also uh dusty did folly a do not go see joker, <laughs> joker part two and now it's not in the theater anymore so man that was a quick run <laughs> yeah 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 we'll talk about that so i was like okay tri-tip salad sounds really good to me i'm gonna try to get a tri-tip salad found one ordered it never had it before too big way too big of a oh salad. yeah, they give you a a big old bucket of salad. It was like a yeah, it was like a bushel of lettuce, and it was a cob salad. So it comes with a bunch of stuff, 
which it sounded good. And I was like, okay, this might be like a better option. It's got tri-tip, which was delicious, by the way. Uh, mixed right. greens. Mm-hmm. 10,000 pounds of mixed greens in this salad. Mm-hmm. Tomato, blue cheese, cu- Ugh, cucumbers. Fuck, blue cheese. God. <laughs> No, nah, blue cheese. Blue cheese in a cop salad's good, dude. Blue cheese sucks ass in all forms. No, you're you're a bad <laughs> you you're you're arguing in bad faith. It's awful, dude. I'll no. I'll dude, I will snort goat cheese. I you, you give me goat cheese, I'll drink goat <laughs> cheese. You but... get you get a blue cheese crumble with a piece of this bacon and an egg and a piece of the tri tip. Man, that's got yeah, perfect. Yeah, three bite, of those dude. things are good, man. That's... Three of those things are awesome. <laughs> Hopefully they drown out that other fucking garbage you put on it. Uh roasted red peppers, which were good, red Always onions. Good, yeah. Uh and then ranch dressing. And I was like, I know the ranch isn't great for you. Clearly, no, it's awful. I'm not it's I'm mayonnaise. not <laughs> yeah, I'm not like thrilled at my eating habits recently, but I'm like, okay, salad. Salad with some protein. <laughs> a little okay, bit, salad. Some yep. salad with some protein. I didn't get the salad that had crispy onion rings on the top of it even though i know that's delicious because oh man um you put crispy onion rings on blue cheese i'd probably eat it that's probably probably gonna be good it's little yeah. under the little onion tanglers you know oh, so man. delicious so much goddamn salad like too much salad like yeah. uh, too much condiments or like the perfect amount of condiments for the salad that was given to me mm-hmm. but just too much salad dog yeah it's a lot of salad dude it's insane. I like I I could eat half of this and I'd be way happier. Yeah. But I have well, to eat we'll... <laughs> I have to eat all of it. I'm obligated by the government to eat the whole thing. Uh cuz they they sent they're it starving to me. kids and <clears throat> yeah. they're starving Haitians in Ohio. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you you could save some dogs if you shift if you shift half that salad out yeah. to Ohio. Yeah. But uh, it's put it into fourths. They're really eating the, the cob. <laughs> really that doesn't do have Lord. such a ring to it. <laughs> really do the Lord's work if I did yeah. all of that. So yeah, you I could put it in little in little parachutes. <laughs> I think I've determined. <laughs> drop that, it on the yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I've determined that there's no really good way to consume salad if you're going to do it. From a restaurant. Then this wasn't even a fast food restaurant. This is like a nice restaurant. Their salad's just gigantic. Yeah, there's okay. So there's either restaurants that don't give a fuck about their salad, and you get the worst thing you've ever seen in your life, right? Um, or and I'm I'm speaking in generalities because I've gotten generalizations because I have gotten good salads, but a lot of times it's either the worst thing you've ever seen, or they they just fill a mattress with salad, right? And First, like they're like, listen, I have to get rid. Well, the thing is, they have to get rid of it because right. I've talked about this before, man. It's not just, it's not re- probably restaurants don't have the problem with it that I do with this. You sell me too too much leafy stuff. You yeah. like the the container that you're selling. I understand it's a profit margin <laughs> thing. You can't right. just if you sold me what I need, you'd make a half a cent on it, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with basil. Like I need fresh basil for something because I like to cook legit. Right. right. I, I don't need that dried basil. I'm going to get the fresh basil. I'm going to cut that up myself. I'm going to put it on the thing. Right. I don't need a tree <laughs> of basil. Yeah. I need they like make, three leaves. They want to make sure you have basil for life. And But the problem is I've got basil for like six hours and it's yeah. black in the yeah. fridge. So like <laughs> you, you there, there's no – unless you are selling, the, the amount of basil that these people sell is only good for a restaurant. Because basil, I don't know if you know this, pretty overpowering taste. <laughs> yeah it's a uh, little goes a long way for you you don't need that much basil nobody yeah. needs that much basil and it's the same thing with like spinach i'm like i buy spinach at the at the thing they give me the tub of spinach and i'm like i am gonna throw if i do <laughs> like well if i'm proud of myself i'm throwing half of this away still yeah it's slimy yeah. it's starting to it's starting to turn you know what i mean yeah, you're my cat won't eat it <laughs> yeah i think that's uh i bought like the mixed green uh container from uh from like winco or something to make my own salads at home and i'm like i put in over the amount of salad that i think i want to eat yeah and there's still half of this tub left and i'm like this tub <laughs> it's not going to make it to next week it's just not uh, it, there's there's no way and I, I i would like to know and there's no way for us to know this i mean You'll probably find a study, but the study can't like be uh, exhaustive, right? You can't test everybody. I'd like to know the percentage of salad greens that get thrown away, because I bet it's fifty at least. 
yeah i mean unless you're <laughs> unless every night you're making like a cartoonishly large salad uh like they would have in the movie hook you know that's supposed you're you're, to you're making cabbage water like in Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah, just every day cabbage. I'm I'm tired of cabbage water, so I spent all my life savings on this loaf of bread, Grandpa Joe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, can you? Because you brought it up, but I I need you to do it for me. Can you do your impression of the teacher from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> what does he say? Uh, how many How many candy bars did you eat, Charlie Bucket? What do you mean you only opened two? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Two? What do you mean you only opened two? I love that you need a uh, backstory for motivation to drop. I forgot to what the drop line in, was. Drop into your guy. That guy deserves whatever the British version of the Academy Award is. He deserved it for just the reading of that line. Yeah, he's brilliant because, like, who thinks to remove the second vowel from the word opened? Right. What do you mean you only opened two? <laughs> Open. And his, and his indignance towards. Uh, look, I don't want to get too, uh, too. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, get too bad on Charlie. He's had a tough life. That kid stinks for sure. They're so nope. poor. He like, smells he, bad. Yeah, he, he smells has. Bad. To, he has to smell bad. Yeah, he smells like, bad. Like he's he's got to smell bad. He has to not be able to do his homework very well. Like they know that kid is poorer than dirt. They ha- they would have to, right? He's Mr. Cabbage Water. Right, he looks pretty healthy for somebody who only eats cabbage yeah, water. By the way, king of cabbage water. Yeah, and then to be like, hey, how many of the novelty candy bars for a chance to go to a, a crazy man's factory have you eaten? And then to be upset that it's only two. Yeah, is what do you really, mean? <laughs> it's really funny. He starts badgering him, like everybody <laughs> point and laugh at Charlie, at poor Charlie, yeah. and, uh, at poor, at poor stinky Charlie. Let's all laugh. <laughs> Have your uh, grandparents walked yet? Didn't think so. They all two, still live. two candies. <laughs> they all live in that giant four post bed still, like a bunch of weirdos. Where do you guys sleep? Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I used to love that. I mean, obviously, it was the only version of it that existed. But I used to love that movie when I was a kid. But I, think it's I the only would, good version ever. I would fast forward through the cheer up Charlie part of of the movie because I was like so bored. <laughs> This song's Dude, so long. The movie is a five out of five. That part can get out of here. Like, okay. I thought you were going to stick up for Cheer Up Charlie. No, 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 no. I don't care about watching mom do laundry. <laughs> it, it felt interminable when I was a kid. What, I was like, what happened to that smile I used to know? Shut up. It's gone because he's poor. Yeah. And he's poor because of you. <laughs> Get a job, it's, winch. <laughs> yeah, that's a, there. I like the beginnings fun. The other characters are fun. Uh, like uh, I want to, you know, uh, uh, like the whole lead up to this movie. There's the the Candyman can song, all that shit. So good rules, and so then good. it's like we got to do Creepy a slow, Candyman, yeah, <laughs> the slowest ballad of all time, right in the middle of this movie. Right before it gets good again, there like, should be like a you know in, in uh, on YouTube when you fast forward through the ads and it says most replayed and most replayed is always right after the ad, right? And that's that's what it is. The moment that uh, cheer up Charlie ends is the most replayed part of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate yeah. Factory. <laughs> that's, uh, that part of the t- that part of the VHS is worn out. Is worn out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, and the the. the uh, the, the crystal clear the cheer up charlie part <laughs> yeah 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 it's uh, it's from the it's never been lore. seen yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, so i found something today i was going through the garage uh because my wife was looking for a book uh from when she was a kid to take to her parents house and in the midst of finding of finding that book i found something else uh when your name is dusty there's not a whole lot of media that is your that is, that's named for you, right? This is a common... Uh, except for the, the American Dream. Except the, except the American Dream, he saved me. Uh, Dusty Baker, the baseball manager. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Always wearing uh, sweatbands on his wrists for some yeah, reason. That dude, that dude also ruled. But, uh, yeah. you know, Still th- alive. this is a... Um, this is a... My son is also named Bort uh, kind of situation. Yeah. Where there's not a lot of Dusties. But... I found, check this out, 
look at this book. Some Dusty D Dog, hell yeah, dude. Says no. <laughs> Dusty D Dog says no. Dusty D Dog says no. It's an anti drug book. <laughs> That's with, so sick. With Dusty D Dog. Dusty D Dog is your wrestling name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and, and your your big thing is no. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody tries to pin me. No. And I can't, yeah. And I can't. like like somebody does a whole a whole like you're, it's one of those JRs in the middle, and it's your opponent on one side and you on the other side, and the guy does a really long promo just shitting on you and telling you how you're gonna lose your title and stuff, and all yeah. you do is go. You, you put your hand up like this, and the whole crowd goes with you, and you go, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so this book, follow along with me here. Dusty D-Dog's Dusty bored. There's nothing to do. Yep. Yeah. So he figures, much like regular Dusty, I'm going to go see what's happening downtown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go get some pink cocaine. Yeah. Or he's, a, pain. <laughs> he's a dog on the run. Yeah. So, but then... It's a good dude, wing song. <laughs> dude in a big red car comes along. Wants does wants to give Dusty D Dog a ride. You want to go ahead and guess what Dusty D Dog tells him? Everybody with me? No. No, <laughs> no way! Thought Dusty D Dog. <laughs> so he's like, he barks and then he runs the opposite way. Good work, Dusty. Hell D-Dog. yeah! Good yeah. boy. Good boy. <clears throat> now he ran into some friends. They've knocked over some trash. You know how dogs are. They'll knock over trash. Yeah. You know, especially yeah. if you let him out. Yeah. What, 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 uh, he, he's just a, he's loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's hanging out downtown. <laughs> he has to go see what's <laughs> up. Uh, they want him to spread some bar- some garbage around. You want to go ahead and guess what a uh, old dusty D dog says? No. no. Dusty D Dog d- doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> he'll go to the pound. Is his is his concern, which is also concerning that the dog's aware of the pound. <laughs> like, well, it's dog jail, right? I guess so. Yeah, they're gonna He's, throw me in the slammer if I do yeah. that. Uh, then some kids try to give Dusty D Dog a treat. You uh, you want to go ahead and guess? This is the most unrealistic shit. <laughs> These are all the things that dogs like doing. They like right. riding in the car. Yeah. They like kicking trash around. Yeah. And they like treats more than anything. But yeah. he says, no. no. <laughs> I've got safer food in my dish at home. He's a, you know, he's not in the, he's not here. He's not thinking about the moment. He's thinking the long game. How right? safe is this food if they're just letting their dog roam around downtown? <laughs> like, <laughs> how attentive are Dusty yeah. Dogs yeah. <laughs> owners? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh-oh. Where's the dog? I don't know, man. Who cares? <laughs> we, we, oh, we don't like parenting, man. It hardens <laughs> our buzz. <laughs> That's like telling Gene Krupa not to go zappa zap ba pow We've tried nothing, and we're all out of ideas, man. <clears throat> oh, okay. So then a cat. Goddamn cats. <laughs> they try to get Dusty D-Dog to chase them. For some reason, that seems bad for the cat. The cat wants to be chased? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. chase me, motherfucker. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, the, the cat just lost a bunch of money betting on horses. Or yeah, he's, yeah, he's looking for uh, death by cop, but essentially. Yeah. essentially <laughs> yeah. Suicide by dog. <laughs> Suicide by dog. Uh, <laughs> and then at the end of the book, because Dusty D-Dog is such a good dog, yeah, he hears a sound where his, his owner's from a distance are yelling to him, Dusty, come home. <laughs> they don't come find him. There, there are yeah. no, there are come no on, owners. Man. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, and then at the end, all's well that ends well. That's Dusty D Dog passed out on his dog bed. Hell yeah, dude. he knows what, what a good time boy. It is. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> Dusty D Dog. By the way, of course, in case you were wondering, D A W G. No, no. I uh, that's how his music re- starts too. It just goes no, and then the music <laughs> hits. I want to I want to rewrite this story. <laughs> and after the uh, after the uh, the uh, the cat, uh, Dusty D Dog's like, God, why am I so bored? Why can't I do anything? You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like. Dude, I sent you a car, a cat. I got you a trash can. Uh, I knocked over a bunch of trash for you. Yeah. That's uh, 
There's an old Christian joke in there that I won't. That's uh, d- that's okay. what I'm. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm uh, riffing on. Th- it's an allegory for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Where yeah. the guys are floating in the in the water. He's like, dude, I sent you three boats. You fucking dumb asshole. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, what I God says you, in the Christian joke. I sent you. A, I sent you a jet ski. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of stuff. Uh, all right, Andrew. It's spooky season. We're officially on the precipice of spooky season. <laughs> uh, I don't know where the bone man is, but I know he's out and about. <laughs> fucking goddamn right here, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hasn't left the fucking bone man. <laughs> Too small still. <laughs> you haven't you haven't shrunk your head to I to haven't been eating. I've been it. trying to you know how yeah. women you know how women uh starve themselves to fit into their wedding dress? <laughs> <laughs> it's very important Turn, that you look good. For, turns uh, out you can't starve your skull. <laughs> it's just gonna, everything. Everything else gets smaller. The skull stays the same size. Yeah, that's uh, it's like high school girls. <laughs> well, that's a dazed and yeah, confused yeah. reference for everybody out there thinking that I'm a creep. <laughs> well, you shouldn't probably say that joke while you're wearing the bone man mask. <laughs> Doesn't help. I'm a creep. Yeah. Oh, you'll be singing "Creep" in the Bone Man mask. So that's, that's I'm a weird. Yeah, I am, dude. <laughs> it's very on brand for you. Oh, dude, I forgot to tell you. I still, th- I, I, I hope we, I hope they find this for me. I have requested something. I have a writer for oh, this appearance. Okay, okay. I was like, hey, this is Springville. We got a lot of outdoorsy types. I need you guys to find me a dolly. Because the Bone Man <laughs> uh-huh. is going to be brought in on a dolly, like, like Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter style, hell yeah, dude! Yeah, I'm dude. gonna I'm gonna be hanging out in my half Bone Man costume. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the room, and when it's my turn, they're gonna bring me in on a dolly. Okay, uh, are you King playing? Of bits. Are you playing with a live band or is it a track? A live band, dude. You We're should... supposed to practice on Wednesday, but they don't know. That's game five of the World Series, son. I'm, I'm not fucking. I know this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you uh, guys learn this song. I'm gonna be fine. They should vamp the intro to Creep. Like they should start playing it and then have you come in on the dolly. A hundred percent. And then, and then just vamp it till, uh, till you start the, till you start I'm the verse. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a, that's a, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, it's a brilliant idea. You just have to, just give me a co-writer credit. <clears throat> that's fine. You can... Well, I also might have the person who brings me in on the dolly like hold my hand and like lead me up to because I can't <laughs> right. see through the mask. <laughs> but that'll help the aesthetic too. Yeah, so that's good. Um, spooky season. I've been watching the Scream movies recently. Okay. Um, and I've I've made it through number four. There are six of them, I believe. <clears throat> I've seen wow. them all, but wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a lot I've, of scream. I've noticed a couple tropes that I'd like to share with you now. Okay. In the scream universe, mm-hmm. if you receive a superficial wound from Ghostface, you're in on it. Every because oh. <laughs> there's always multiple killers in these movies. Yeah, uh, and uh, every time there's one where Ghostface attacks whoever, and then they get slashed on the arm. And you're like, oh shit, Ghostface tried to kill that guy, so that guy's not in on it. And then turns out at the end, he's like, hell yeah, bro, we made him think <laughs> you stabbed me with a hella sharp knife. What a great way to perpetuate the bit. By the way, you know that got infected. <laughs> yeah, I, I have Dick. literal, I have literal radial nerve damage now. I'll, n- I'll never oh, be yeah. able to play bass again. Uh, oh man, I don't remember which one it was. I'm trying to the creepy Mark's Madness <laughs> intro. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I could have played that. Yes, for for, for uh, we got to save that for spooky. Is season. it this one? The Smart Marks Podcast presents Marks Madness. See that guy's man. She's in, in paint. It. Yeah, she's dead. It was, it was it was hard for me to get her to make that sound, but <laughs> but you were able to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Um. The NFL should also, instead of, uh, there's a lot of hand wringing about concussions and uh, so forth in the NFL. Yeah. And they've created the guardian cap 
Have you seen the Guardian cap? Yeah, it looks so stupid. So, so stupid. Big head. It looks so stupid. Really big head. Like big, big helmet. It's stupid. It's, yeah, yeah. it's like when you would, when you did the cheat for big head mode in NFL Blitz. Yeah. It's, everybody, it look, everybody's on a, like, on a head wobble is what it, it looks like. It sucks that it looks so stupid because if it helps at all, everybody yeah, should wear it. It's supposed it to help, it but so uh, the literal poster child for concussions to a tongue of Iloa who plays quarterback for the Dolphins is coming yeah. back after his latest concussion where people, he's coming back yeah he's playing this week people he have, literally is that guy from fucking not another teen movie with the yeah. concussion counter on this on the... <laughs> yeah uh, uh bill bob or whatever oh uh what i was gonna say is all they need to do the nfl is invest in a bunch of these ghost face masks Everybody in the league wears ghost face mask because <laughs> that shit is concussion proof. I forgot we were still that's, on screen. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean it's perfect, but that shit is ev- concussion proof. <laughs> every single every single time I'm watching one of these screen movies and like uh go ghost face gets the drop on somebody but then that guy fights back, they're hitting him with shit in the head that will kill you. Like a cast iron skillet bounced off his dome and he's just like bull <laughs> like ah, and then he, fuck <laughs> yeah, and then he's just like no 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 back to stabbing like he he shakes the they shake everything off uh or it's one of those situations where like i ghost face is attacking you right mm-hmm no, he's attacking you. Look, look, look behind you. No, no, my you. cat, my cat would be all over that dish right now, <laughs> uh, just getting stabbed. My cat was just, <laughs> just uh, getting stabbed to death. <laughs> but like, I come and save you, right? And I and I hit Ghostface in the head and knock his ass out. And then I'm checking with you for like two seconds. Oh God, hey, are you okay? Is everything okay? <laughs> Ghostface is right to fuck back up, or, or he's fucking gone. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were in an alley. He's right. He was right there. How do you, how do you get up and run off with, and yeah. nobody saw him? Uh, but then he's gone again, you know, and then he well, doesn't, he doesn't need, and it, it's always somebody in the inner circle, obviously, cause it's a character you've been introduced to so they can do the reveal and be like, blah, ha, ha. but there's yeah. never the next day where the dude in the ghost face mask has a, a fucking uh, black, black eye, eye. Or... or he's got like, he's got like a two by four imprint on his forehead. <laughs> right. He's always cool. He's just yeah. ready. He's ready to go again. That's funny. Uh, like <laughs> every, every one of them and watching them I all like... back to back really makes this point. Uh, no, because the first three screen movies all happen within four years. They come out within four years of the first one. It's like scream one's 96 scream two's 97 scream three is 2000. That's a crazy crazy uh, run run and then there's like 10 years between the third one and the next one so in that amount of time i've forgotten some of these tropes so i'm watching the new one you know at the time and i'm like oh shit and then i'm like oh of course (laughs) but they give you enough time where but the people who have lived theoretically within the universe of these movies at this point i would think would be like you know what always seems to happen he always seems to stab somebody but then that person lives. And then it turns out that guy's fucking Ghostface. Yeah. Uh, and his alibi is always, well, Ghostface stabbed me. So how could I be Ghostface? Uh, <laughs> so that's never happened. Yeah. And he's never out of breath. There's never an out of breath Ghostface. <laughs> this dude's cardio is incredible. Uh, I wish they would do like, cause that's one of the best things about Ghostface is he looks like a human being in a mask. Yeah. Like he'll get hit and be like, well, he doesn't make the sound, but he's like, bah! you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, the mask is too well insulated. That's why it should be in the NFL. Yeah, I just wish they don't have to go full scary movie, obviously, but like I would wish they would show some of that stuff where like uh find a way to make it not lampoony, you know, where like he right. gets hit and, he, and but if he makes a sound then they it kind of gives a hint as to who it is. Right. If it's a kaboing, um, <laughs> then but like that's a bad Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, or like you see him in the background at one point like like Ghostface gets away, right? Like he does yeah. the thing where he disappears, and then the people are like talking to the cops outside or something. And you see in the background, like through some trees, Ghostface is like on it, like hands on his knees, catching his breath. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Fuck! <laughs> he's, oh, is... And he's like, he's like, he puts his hand under the mask. Yeah, and, like, checks for blood. <laughs> he's or he's riding a bicycle away, but in the Ghostface thing because he does he hasn't had time to change. 
And the like, robe the robe gets caught in the chain. <laughs> yeah. But nobody I mean, that's too scary movie. <laughs> I guess it's pure. God, scary that would movie. be they should have done that in scary movie. Yeah. The robe gets caught in the chain. <laughs> that would be so funny. Uh, he just falls over and his his hat his mask flies yeah. up. Like like oh. fucking Shockmaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I want I or I'd want to go back to Ghostface Lair after one of these uh failed encounters. Where he's looking at like his Fitbit or whatever, and he's like, "Wow, I chased that! I chased that fucking dude for like five minutes. My heart rate didn't raise at all. That yeah. those ten thousand steps have really been helping." Yeah, <laughs> I said, just... "If I'm gonna be Ghostface this year, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the work in. I'm gonna be doing he... the cardio on an incline. <laughs> I, got, I got my sed- I got my treadmill set on an incline. You gotta have ten thousand steps a day. Eat clean. I'm, he's on like a training regimen, like he's Derrick Henry or some shit like that." He's, he's, he's fully meal prepped. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, and it's like, it's like butcher box or something. And yeah, like, yeah. no, he goes to factor and he's got all the meals yeah. made. So he has enough he, time to plan. He's slumped on his couch watching like jeopardy and, uh, with a beer in his hand. And he's like, he's slightly lifting the mask to drink the beer. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, he's like, what is Nicaragua? <laughs> <laughs> He's a, no, no, no. What He's is, got an uh, ice pack on his knee. Yeah. <laughs> what is, I, th- I think this is an MCL sprain. Oh, man. <laughs> we could have made a better scary movie. Yeah, yeah. We, gotta, we do keep in the him stabbing the girl in the boob and her implant comes yeah, out because yeah. that's a funny bit. It's a funny he's got to have the – he's got the Stone Cold Steve Austin knee brace because he, <laughs> he tore his MCL last time he tried to attack uh, Sidney Prescott. Like <laughs> – uh, he, he's, he goes cupping the next day. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've been seeing this guy three times a week. What a, he's like? I'm a stunt man. I do a lot. It's very yeah, physical. I'll, I'll, and and he's talking to his uh, ghost face. Is talking to his friend, the the other ghost face. He's like, dude, I started the cupping thing. Fucking day and night. Bro. Day <laughs> yeah, and night. I can I, kill all day. No, no, no. I used to be really tired, but this CPAP machine really helps. It's. Yeah. <laughs> I feel I feel refreshed. I feel rested. Uh, they fit it for the mask too. It's really yeah. accommodating. <laughs> no, dude, it's got to be. Yeah, it's no, it's got to be. He's got the ghost face mask on. He's yeah. asleep, so he's laying there, and he's got the ghost face mask on. And then he has to take the ghost face mask off, and you see him from the back, and he's got the CPAP machine on, <laughs> and then he takes that off, and then he puts the ghost face mask back. Yeah, <laughs> he still he puts yeah. the ghost face mask back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's how he wakes up or it's just just seeing the training would be really fun if it's just him in the full ghost face shit because that's how he has he has to train for the 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 actual event right he's training yeah. like a dica- like a decathlon and he's just do, putting his steps he's just doing his steps in the ghost face shit practicing stabs <laughs> like, yeah yeah he's, he's got like one of those tackling dummies that that ufc <laughs> fighters use where it's just like a cylinder it's it's basically like a punching bag for the ground yeah and he's just stabbing it and he's on top of it and stabbing yeah. it and there's the other ghost face in the mask has a has a uh a stopwatch he's like and stop and yeah. oh god man I've, i i i did not get eight hours last night yeah a, i said i put in five five hard minutes you know each round yeah. has got to be five hard minutes you you train hard so the fight is easy is what i always yeah. said so oh, it's a sweat equity in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> he he breaks his metatarsal or something. And now, dude, we got to postpone till next year. It was, <laughs> I know it's going to throw Halloween all, all the way off there. They're going to have to find a replacement. I have, I have no incentive to go at anything less than a hundred percent. I've got a lot to think about. I've got a future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, yeah. there. So yeah, I'm just, just watching them and being like, Every single time, and every time David Arquette's character Dewey, the 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 police officer, he like moves through the ranks, which I appreciate. Like in the movie, they show the passage of time. Like oh, he starts as a deputy, and then he's like he's moved up, and now he's the sheriff. But he's just getting his ass whipped every time. Like uh, you can't you can't be named Dewey and win a fight, right? In the fourth movie, he nearly gets beat to death by a bedpan. The the ghost face killer. Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah, Shout just... out to Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Back to the knee braces. Yeah. Um, I found. Another... Do you want to hear about the cat? Oh yeah, you got to tell me about your cat. So, um, he's pukey boy. Yeah. We talked about this last time we. That's unfortunate. We t- we chatted. Um, and then what day was it? 
it was Friday. Friday, game five of the ALCS. Mm-hmm. I'm watching. Yankees are uh, in a good spot. Uh, they were up two to one in the series, and you got to win four to um, win the ALCS and go to the World Series. And I don't know if you followed this series at all, but the games were insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, the, at least the last three games of the series were all like crazy nail biters, right? Yeah. And uh, so uh, I am watching the game, and my cat has been puking just every day and um he hasn't he stopped eating and i'm like damn it that means he's actually sick <laughs> and not just being a it. jerk yep. and so he 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 started not not eating and he was doing this thing and he's m- making just a mess of my apartment you know mm-hmm. um and he he's sitting next to me like around the corner kind of and I've got the game on. I don't play the game very loud, but I've I've got the game on. And I've got so there's cuz I don't watch the game with friends cuz I live in Bakersfield. So I there's this um there's this this YouTube channel called John Boy Media that does like a bunch of different stuff, but they have they are Yankee fans. So uh they stream watch while watching the game. So I can like listen. It's like not just like watching with my friends, but I've at least got some banter going during sure. the game. You it's know? not just you silently <laughs> watching a game. Yeah, so I've yeah. got the TV on and I've got the str- that stream on my iPad on my on my table and I'm I'm sitting there and I start hearing mm. 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 and I'm like, "What? Is someone's Zuzu not starting?" <laughs> yeah, it sounded yeah. like somebody was trying to start a a um, lawnmower with no gas, but it was it was quieter <laughs> than that, but I I heard it and I'm like, "What is that?" And I pause and I hear it a couple times, and I turn the game back on, and I'm thinking about it for a second. I didn't know where my cat was. And I'm like, that's my cat. And I look, and I turn around, I look around the corner, and he's just looking at me, just laying there looking at me. He's like, what's up, dude? And I'm like, oh, no, I can hear him breathe now. And so he's like, a lot of cats snore a little bit, like when they sleep. Right. You know, you hear the little snore. It's kind of cute sometimes. Yeah. But you're not supposed to hear your cat breathe. Right. Almost any time. Like sometimes, like it's occasional, you know, they'll they'll have a little bit of inflammation in there. It's normal, like that type of stuff. But the the every breath, if that's happening, especially in concert with covering your apartment with puke uh, that was on WebMD. <laughs> right, right, right. Um then I was like, gosh dang it. Like it's the f- fourth inning. <laughs> can you it's a big game? Can you can you wait to die until the Yankees clinch this thing? <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, man, just after the playoffs, just, you know, and when I get some money saved up, like, (laughs) so, um, he's, and I can tell he's lethargic, and I can, uh, he's also restless, like, he keeps changing spots where he's laying, like, he'll just get up and walk to a different spot and lay down, go to a different spot and lay down, and it's like, a lot of cats do that, it's atypical for him, especially in the way he was doing it, and I was like, okay, there's something wrong with this cat, and I just kill cats, apparently, like, I just... (laughs) I'm just a cat killer. I oh, love him to death. Kiss literally. Kiss <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I I called, and the problem was the game starts at 5, so it's like 7, 7.30 right now. There's no vet open except for the emergency vets. Right. The literally take all of your money and your pants vets. <laughs> yeah. So I called an emergency vet, and the first one was like, called answered immediately. Like, and this was like the high class one, but I only called them because they're like on near me on my side of town. They answer immediately and they're like, hi, this is so-and-so vet. Take all your money. Um, will you please hold? And I said, yeah, I was on hold for 15 minutes. Was the million dollar man Ted DiBiase song playing as the hold music? That would be sick. <laughs> just, money, 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 yeah. money. Yeah. And he's just laughing. <laughs> Here comes the money. Yeah. <laughs> um, there goes your so- money. So I I look up uh, I look it up and there is a lesser like fancy sure animal emergency hospital that's slightly further away. <laughs> so I call them and I'm like, "Hey, uh my cat's doing all these things. Um Yankees are on and uh <laughs> are you watching the game?" Yeah, he's like, "Oh yeah, it's real close. It's yeah. good." Um <laughs> but uh yeah. I'm like, "How many changeups do you think that guy's going to throw in a row?" <laughs> yeah, and I'm like Everything I see online says if he's doing all of these things, he needs to see an emergency vet. And they're like, 
They're like, yeah, you should probably bring him in. And I said, how long's the wait? And she goes, it could be several hours. Jesus. Cool. <laughs> so cool. We just we just got a, a Burmese python with a cold. We've had to call in from out of state. Yeah. For, yeah. For, the, for it's, 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 it's being eaten by a ferret. Yeah. There's no ferret doctors here. <laughs> um, so I'm like, okay. And I'm just like, I'm telling myself, like, this is going to suck. This is going to be so bad. So I, um, oh, he got, he got all the energy in the world when I tried to put him in the cat carrier. I can tell you that. Sure. He, he was, he's a, he was, oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine. See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love everywhere so, I lay. Was, yeah, yeah. So, um. Did you know the Yankees were on? <laughs> yeah. It's a game. You know, I missed a game. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, stop puking and I'll stop and I won't do this. And he's like, oh, I can't. So yeah. I'm like, I get it, man. So, um, I had to force him into the cat carrier. And I always like, I feel bad when he finally like gives up and right. stops fighting and like ducks his head so I could put his thing in. I'm like, Oh man, I, I feel bad when you surrender. It's yeah. like when you win an argument, like it doesn't feel good. Right. The, you know? Yeah. And I, I win mean, a lot of arguments. Sometimes it feels good, but usually it does. I mean, if it's fun, sure. If it's like a fun argument where like me and you are arguing over something stupid and you, sure. you find a Google search that and then you get to rub it in my face. Like that's fun. You know? Yeah. But when you win a serious like argument that's about right. like something that somebody believes in their life, you're like, oh man, like god damn it, why do well, I have to do that? When you know? they say, you know what, you're right, actually. This yeah. Is, uh, ooh, I mean, I knew I was right, but it doesn't feel uh, nice. Yeah. You know <laughs> so, what, Andrew, you're right. I'm never going to church again. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> um, so um, he finally relents. Yeah. I take him. I knew something was wrong. Like confirmed something was wrong. He didn't make a peep on the way to this animal hospital. He was like, thank and, God, dude. I've been trying to tell you for days. Dude, this cat is usually screaming yeah. and trying to like, there's mesh on the inside because like a, it's it's not a hard shell case. There's right. like mesh around the outside. <laughs> and he's like trying to claw through it. He's clanging his head towards it. He's like, get me out of here. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. And um, he do, he's not doing it. He's just laying there. Yeah. And he's alive. He's like doing fine. Well, yeah. Not doing fine, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. he's he's not showing signs of distress. He's just also not right. Losing he, his he's, mind. he's got he he don't got it. He don't got it. Yeah, yeah. he's lost he's lost his fastball. Yeah. You know. So, um, I get to the vet, and literally nobody is there. Cool. There's I'm mean, meaning in the lobby. Oh, good. There, there, there's there's people working there. Yeah. But it's a ghost town in the lobby. Not a single person there. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this might be a little faster than I th thought it was going to be. So I go to the I go to the front. The completely emotionless and humorless person at the counter is asking me a bunch of questions. That, listen, I I've, I I don't bomb very often. <laughs> sure. Okay. Nothing. She gave me zeros. Everything yeah. I said. You know. Well, you got to figure um, she's these sick animals all day. She's probably yeah, not. <laughs> she's she's probably she's probably the the uh, she's probably got what's it called. Um, with when the, the the bombs explode next to your ear and you've got what what's it called something uh, something shock shell shock she probably shell shocked, shell -shocked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shifty shell shocked yeah. um so <laughs> come my lady i'll take your money um <laughs> so rest in peace so um yeah, yeah. we we stand I'm, a legend for i'm like uh you know what's his symptoms well you know these things are happening and he's he look at him he's usually a bastard and he's just sitting there. So that's that's another thing. And then I'll, she just like looks down and writes. I'm like, God damn it, I can't can't get anything by you. <laughs> yeah. She's fouling off all my pitches. So the, um Can I ask you a quick question? Uh is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> this motherfucker got a mic? Yeah. Um so I sign in, I, I pick up Hobbs, I put him on the table next to me, and uh I'm like doing the, it's okay, baby. It's going to be fine. Like yeah. I'm here with you. And he's like in the corner of his thing, like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> like you did this to me. Yeah. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Um, and then <sighs> lady comes in behind me, kitten, mm. barely like really young kitten attacked by a dog. And the kitten was like, crawling up her and like not whining and all that stuff right. that motherfucker left in a bag like an hour and a half later 
nuts, you know. It's not fun to be at the emergency vet, yeah, Dusty. Yeah. Nobody goes. Oh boy, is it not fun to be at the emergency vet? <laughs> Nobody comes to visit the emergency. At least not as late at night as you're there. No one brings their dog that they fixed to come hang out, you know. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> remember this German find... Shepherd, and he's like real happy. Not <laughs> yeah, not at seven so, o'clock. <laughs> I have um, I found an illegal stream. Watching the Yankees. Yep. Do you want to guess if the internet's any good inside the fucking vet? <laughs> no, they. Well, I mean, those walls got to be thick, you know. I also had a really, and I'm, I'll get to this. I'm, I know I'm making this story really long, but I'm entertaining, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a, uh, there's something that really annoys me about the fact that I watched the game on my phone, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But these, this old couple walks in. They've got an old dog, really cute old dog, and I strike up a conversation with the old man. Me and him are best friends in 10 minutes. Right. We're just shooting the breeze, talking about what he did for a living, talking about dogs, talking about all these things. Nicest guy in the world. His wife's very nice. And uh, I'm just sitting there like kind of like out of one eye looking at the phone the whole time being like, yes, fuck you. And then like, you know, getting mad and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, another guy walks in and he's like, he walks in with a little Shih Tzu dog. With the worst underbite I've ever seen. These dogs are genetic disasters. Right. They're yeah. like Oompa Loompas. It's a problem, right? Yeah. So um, he's he he goes, as soon as he walks in, he looks at us and he goes, I'm sorry, but this dog's about to make a bunch of noise. And we're like, no, it's fine, dude. I'm like, we're just chilling. I understand. We're in an emergency vet. It's going to be right. fine. And he's like, and the guy's like, he's a barker, huh? The old man. Yeah. And he's like, no, he's got a cough. And I'm like, what? <laughs> What's going on? And this dog, bro, starts just going, ha, 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 like over and over. And so they're uh, they're like, uh, they kind of did the like, what's wrong with the dog? And he kind of like points at. Come on, he's like man. he's been doing this. He's been doing this for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, and uh, he doesn't normally do that. Of course, he doesn't normally do that. Yeah. He's alive, isn't he? Why he would I have this, this for... dog if that's yeah, the noise he made? I would kill this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so they're like, okay, you can take the dog over there, and we'll we'll get a room ready or whatever we need to do. And he's he looks at us, and, and I immediately go, totally fine. Keep the dog in here. Yeah. Like, oh he's yeah. Gonna, he's gonna go stand outside with his dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just just scare the passersby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the, the, the cops are going to start circling the place. Yeah. Like, there's a there's a goat. Somebody's doing something to yeah. a goat here. Um, so immediately, about 10 minutes, this guy's like 23. Immediately, three best friends. Right. We're all just kicking it. Super nice guy. Um, and then they bring me into the coldest room. <laughs> I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. This yeah. room is in the 50s easy dog yeah. i don't know what they're doing like they, they 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 can charge me less if they turn up the ac in that room a little bit well but then and, you don't want a humid dog a humid uh, sick dog but i feel like you're jumping from one to the other you know what i mean yeah but i think i they just know. feel like we i, I don't think, need to see my breath <laughs> i think they air on the side of cold they cold on the side of air i can yeah, tell yeah. you that okay <laughs> so um so the guy comes in and he's like, and oh wait, no, I went in there and then they just told me, hey, this is what we're thinking about doing. Cause they had already taken him back to take his vitals and shit. Right. And they're like, uh, we want we want to start with an x ray and blood work. And it's gonna be literally every bit of money you've ever seen in your life. Like it's gonna <laughs> be I'm I'm joking. It's gonna be it's gonna be like a thousand dollars. And I'm like Sick. Okay, like what? <laughs> how much? How much is euthanasia? I'm just 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 spitballing, right? I'd like to have all the options in front of me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hypothetically, I'm just yeah, curious. Yeah. Um, so they tell me that, and they're like, it could be more than that, like quite a bit more than that, depending on what kind of medicine he needs, and if we need. It. And I'm like, fine, let's find out what's wrong with this stupid cat. And he he was like, he was worried about bowel obstruction. And um, which is you're is it contagious? The, you're, yeah, you know they say that the uh, pets take on the characteristics of their owners. I guess so, and man. So, and yeah, yeah, he's a little gay too. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> did his stomach um, get turned upside down? Yeah. So I, I, and they're also worried about like, like a couple other things, feline asthma, and like a bunch of like, um, 
uh, like really bad things. Yeah. You know, like once it, it's they tell you the survivable things, but it's like it, it could also be he's about to explode. Right. Um, somebody put a bomb <laughs> inside of your cat. So I go back in. We're sitting there, and the door. The, well, no, actually, uh, somebody's at the counter when I walk in. Pitbull walks in, Mister Worldwide. Yeah, um, <laughs> he, no, he a, heard your cat was sick and he came to see you. Yeah, a yeah. white pit bull walks in. Hell yeah. Um, wiener completely <laughs> covered in blood. Like oh. the whole wiener area of this pit bull yeah. is blood. And he's dripping everywhere. Cool. And he's just hanging out, just having a good time. Sure. Like, not, not whining, not anything like that. Like just looking at us and just dripping blood all over the place from his wiener area. <laughs> And it turned out that he had like a weird, like he had something on his skin and he like scratched it and it just like uh, opened a hole. Yeah. It's like, like a black hole. And they were like, no matter what we did, it's like a, the size of a pen. The hole was. Yeah. And he was like, cause the, the dad was like, I tried everything, man. I did not want to pay to get this dog sewn up. And, uh, <laughs> so I tried uh, to duct tape it. I tried to crazy glue it. I yeah. Tried and to he told me it. like. They started telling me the stories about this dog. It got in a fight and had like almost got its head ripped off and like all the back in the day. And it's like just a little pinhole on his wiener is fine, you know. But <laughs> um, so I'm I'm talking to the guy next to me, and uh, and then and the old man, and then the they come and get me again, and they they're like um, they're like okay, so here's the story. Like I'm sitting there, and <laughs> what if he just has gas again? Dude, I would have killed him. He <laughs> would have had been, bigger problems that than gas. Been the funniest thing. They're like, okay, we tested him for cat leukemia. We tested him for cat AIDS. We did an MRI on his gut. He farted real big and he's fine. Everything <laughs> yeah. regulated. He, just, and he actually burped, farted at the same time. And then he yeah. was he was 10 feet in the air for a second. But now <laughs> he seems fine. It was like a fizzy lifting dream. Yeah. Um, so I'm watching, the whole time I'm watching the Yankee game. The Yankee game's very close. Yeah. And like the Yankees were up 6-2 to two at one point. And then the game got tied and like I kept missing the big moments because the stream would freeze and then I'd restart it. And then the, I see the aftermath or whatever. Yeah. And then as I'm sitting in this cold ass room waiting for the prognosis on my dumb cat, I hear old man and guy I was talking to with the Shih Tzu go, Hey, um, can you guys turn this TV to the Yankee game? There's a TV in the room that you the did, whole time that you didn't notice. I thought they just wanted to watch Mario Lopez. <laughs> like they had the stupid Mario Lopez fucking entertainment tonight bullshit. And I just didn't like, you're, I thought about it for a second, but I'm like, dude, I'm not going to ask them to change the channel on this. You're, this is a what's pure, on... you're a pure, lovely man. Yeah, man. If it was I'm, just... I'm, but I'm sitting there going, motherfucker, I could have watched this whole game on a TV <laughs> like, right next to me. I could be not getting a virus to have watched this game. There was even audio. Yeah. I had the audio off the whole time. So right. we could have just been sitting there. So anyway, so the guy comes in and a really nice vet. And he's like, he pulls up the x-rays and I immediately, I see the x-ray and I, I, I know it's not a bowel obstruction because yeah. as we know, I am a professional. Yeah. So You've been down this um, road. he's like, see this right here. This is a colon that's filled with gas. And, and he's like, colon, uh, gas is fine in the colon. That's where we want the gas to be. And I said, yeah, you see the, and I was like, yeah. And the, the rest of the intestines, the gas looks consistent, which means that there's no blockage anywhere in the intestine. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, I've, I've had like eight bowel obstructions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm something of a medical marvel. Yeah. Tell, we can have a conversation yeah, if you'd like. Tell to. your family tonight when you see them. <laughs> I could probably teach you a thing. Yeah. Or two. I'm the boy who lived. Go tell yeah, him. Yeah. You see. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's like, now, if you look at his lungs, and I said, I'm not familiar with lung x rays, he's like, sure. you see all the white in his lungs. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, it's all this meth I've been smoking. Um, <laughs> what we want is there to be no white in there. <laughs> yeah, we don't want, we won't, don't want white. So he's got the old white lung. Um, yeah. So what he, he had feline <laughs> asthma. The mother, I got a nerd. I raised a nerd. <laughs> I mean, it's what you deserve. You know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know it is. Um, so they're like, uh, we're going to give you uh, we're gonna give him some steroids. Does he have a little kitty inhaler? No, I ah, wish. Damn well, it. no, I don't wish because that means that it's chronic. So they said that most of the time it goes away. Yeah, like I'm sorry, a lot of times if he had a kitty inhaler, it would be what? Chronic. Oh yeah, fucking goddamn it! Nobody's gonna understand that. No, it doesn't matter. We are though. Yeah, you know, it's good for us. Who are we doing the show for? That is true. That is true. Um, so 
Apparently, he goes away most of the time, so they gave him steroids, and then uh, they gave him. Uh, then he started beating you up. He's real upset. Oh, dude. <laughs> and he got he's at been roid raging. Yeah, all he's over got the place. He knocked, now. <laughs> he knocked a bunch. Dude, he knocked so much shit off my counter the other day. Um, but he, um, they gave him nausea medication. He's just a normal cat when I get him home. Right. Like just, just he's just the steroids. One shot of steroids just completely revolutionized this cat. <laughs> you, he's like, hey, feed me, bitch. You, Why haven't you fed me in three days? If only um, you knew Doctor George Sahorian could have yeah, got those so steroids yourself. I go back into the lobby, and this is a little bit of a self-serving story. But I sit down and I'm like talking to the the guy with the uh, Shih Tzu. Yeah. Told him what's going on. I'm like, your dog's probably gonna die, but my cat's fine. <laughs> um, and. Uh, He's like, because uh, I started to make like little morbid jokes. Sure. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I was like, making, you know, like your, your, I, I, the lawn, I use the lawnmower joke. I was like, your cat, your dog just sounds like it's out of gas. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I mentioned something about the radio and he's like, wait, did you say that you're on the radio? And I said, yeah. And he goes, dude, I knew you sounded familiar. Hell and yeah, he starts talking to me about my radio show. And he's like. You were talking the other day about your, how your apartment smelled like weed. And I was like, yeah, dude, that was me. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> so, Let me pay your vet bill. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. You got 1200 bucks. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I took the cat home. He is a fucking nightmare to give pills to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you this part. So the next day I had a wedding and the Springville Apple Festival to go to. Right. Big day. And, um, big day. Yeah. I've got a sick cat at home. That cat can kick rocks. Uh, I, 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 I woke gotta up. See, I got to see who wins the barrel race. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. woke up early. I made sure he was cool. He was acting normal. I had somebody come hang out with him for a couple hours during the day. And I went to the Apple Festival and then the wedding. I got hammered at the wedding. <laughs> Spoiler Juan alert. Juan Soto hit a home run. Yeah. Like, it was, it was a big day. The Yankees made it to the World Series. A bunch of the people. I was with a bunch of kids that I coached in high school when yeah. they were in high school. And uh, we just got trashed. And um, I ended up not driving home, obviously. Right. I went to my friend's house and, fell, and went to sleep and left the cat to die at my house. <laughs> so I get on the next day, I just have an awful hangover and I have to drive all the way to, to Bakersfield from Visalia, uh, from Tulare, which is not a short drive, not the longest drive, not a short drive. Right. And um, longer than am, you want if you're as hungover as you are. Yeah. yeah. And I have to give these cats these pills. They're overdue. He was, I was supposed to give them to him the night before. Yeah. So I get there and I'm like, <laughs> all right, stupid, come here. And uh, so there's a nausea pill and there's a uh, there's uh, the steroid pill. And he won't take like I can't get the nausea pill. And I'm like, well, the steroid pill is more important. Let's do the steroid pill. So I got it into his mouth. Because with cats, you like pry their mouth open, you put it on their tongue, and you close their mouth, and then you massage their neck right. to make them um, so, swallow the pill. Anybody watching on the YouTube, go ahead and uh, focus in on the motion. Yeah, it was just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then so I do that, and then I go and like wash my hands. I'm like, good boy, out of boy, whatever. And he's like, pff, like gagging a little bit, <laughs> and I'm like, you better not fucking. I just got done with this, like. Mm -hmm. And so I go and wash my hands and I turn and I look in my doorway right here and he's sitting there looking at me, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> he's got foam like a beard. Yeah. And it's all the way to the ground and it's just pooling on the ground. The most foam, Dusty, <laughs> that you've ever seen in your life. It looks like when you're washing your car and you mm. put the soap in first and the foam starts to come out. Right. And I'm like, oh, I killed him. Sick. <laughs> like, I don't... I, the, I, I killed my. I oh killed my man, cat. I forgot. There's one cyanide capsule in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave him. I gave him the the one I was gonna take. Yeah. Um, so then uh, I'm like, "What the hell is going on here?" I wipe the foam off his face, and he's like, doing this little stupid like yeah. thing with his mouth. And I'm like, "Dude, stop doing that. Stop fucking dying." I, I am too hungover. <laughs> I, it cost me twelve hundred dollars last time. I have to if, take you back if, to this place. If you die, I'm just gonna throw you outside. <laughs> I will, I will, yeah. to be eaten by the other cats. Yeah. And um, he hides under my bed. I then go look under my bed, and he's just sitting there making that stupid thing with his mouth, foam, just from his <laughs> mouth all the way to the ground. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, man. Like, this sucked when I wasn't hungover. Yeah. The, at least the Yankees don't play tonight. Like, I, it's, it's going to be an ass. It's going to be a horrible day. And then I clean up the foam again. He doesn't seem to be foaming anymore. I looked it up. It's the taste. Cats do that when you give them a pill. 
that tastes bitter and they don't like it. Yeah. Cats are stupid, bro. Exactly. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, they don't know. I mean, they don't have the same hangups we do. They just don't. It just doesn't matter to them, you know. Just swallow the pill, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, you know, he doesn't know anyway, that it's good for him. Well, that was my two-hour cat saga. How's story. he doing? He's. I've. He finally. He's taken some of his pills, not all. Right. Um. He is a master at spitting them out. <laughs> um. He's so good at it. Yeah. He's a. Who's but the, uh. He's the, uh He's acting completely normal. I have a little bit of a cat story, if you'll indulge yeah. me. Uh, we have three cats. You've met my three cats. They're great. They're the best. Uh, a few weeks ago, we took in a fourth cat because uh, we have read that they should really be in pairs because one of the cats is always left out because two of them bond uh, uh, closer than the other one. And that is yeah. what has happened. Storm is kind of left out. <laughs> she gets bullied. The other two cats get along pretty well. They all kind, they all get along, but they they are more likely to hiss or or bop storm with their claws for no for no reason at all. Dude, I love cat bopping when they just whack a bunch of times on the head. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the mom cat tries to get out, and if she gets outside and I go outside and pick her up and bring her back inside, she will immediately find storm and just slap the shit out of her. <laughs> like she's <laughs> like it was storm who narked on her. She can't take it out on you. Yeah. Um, so we got this new cat. It's a kitten. It's a fucking hellion. This cat, our cats hate this. Oh, kittens are, ki- I forgot to tell you, kittens are psychos. Yeah. I, My I, cat's going to be a psycho for over a year. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. I'm sorry. I, I kind but. of know that, but I'm, yeah. you know, uh, our cats hate it. Anytime that it's out and we're trying to introduce them, they hiss at her and then she starts trying to fight them. So we have to keep them quarantined essentially from each other, right? But we've, I'm like, I feel bad because this cat doesn't get a lot of interaction. She's like in one of the rooms most of the time by herself. Like she's well fed and, and we visit her and stuff, but it's not the same. Right. So yeah. on this Saturday, I was like, I'll close the door and I'll just hang out with this cat for a while. Right. <laughs> and uh, she has tried to hit my wife in the face a few times. And that is not something that's very funny. Yeah. Not, it's but not funny. something that my wife's into. Right. And I keep yeah. trying to be level headed and be like, it's a kitten. It's kind of just the thing that they do. Like it's a sweet cat. She's, she's chill. Well, I was hoisted on my own petard because I'm hanging out with this cat on Saturday. It comes up to me. It puts one paw on my leg and I'm like, you went full petard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jean-Luc petard. Uh, <laughs> I, it puts one paw on my leg and I'm like, oh, and then I look at it. And with no warning, it just fucking hits me in the face <laughs> with its other paw. And I'm like, ah, fuck. And I, I like bat, I move my head back and then I put my hand up to my lip, blood everywhere, <laughs> all over my hand. And I'm like, God damn you, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, I got to put this cat away. Cause I'm, I'm really mad <laughs> Yeah, right now that this has happened. Very funny. Where did uh, it cut you? Right on the lip right here. <laughs> like right in the middle of my face dude <laughs> and so i had to take a time out from the cat and then later be like you are right this cat's insane uh it will just because uh, i was like i wasn't doing anything i wasn't riling like, the... <laughs> i was i was just, i was ready to justify it when he was only attacking you right no was i was like you. you know i'm not trying to rile the cat up i'm not playing a game with the cat i'm not doing anything i sat down <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I sat I sat down, <laughs> it looked at me and just went, you know what? Fucking wham. It just hit me in the face. And I was like, you have to go back in the room for a little while. He's, Cause I, he's playing. Dude. Yeah. And the, if it wouldn't have scratched my face, it would have been fine. But uh, you know, that's not how that's not how she <laughs> that's not how she gets down. She you seems get fucked, dude. Yeah, she seems Just to be it. she seems to be chilling out to some degree but you know as she gets older she will she's gonna be a psycho for like a year and a half right which is um, like like Hobbs is still a psycho and he's over two years old which is a bummer we're hoping that when she gets fixed that'll chill her out some because that's uh a thing that i've read that happens that happen to girl cats too i think it does not just boy cats i think it's i need to get my my girlfriend fixed (laughs) um (laughs) uh (laughs) now andrew andrew did tell me before the podcast that he was not feeling great so i have i am not feeling great one other thing uh, and then we can do the other trivia and then get out of here. I have sure. the non-expert trivia for you this week, Andrew. 
This is Boy, am I excited. We need to I need to make a stinger for that. This is a test that this is a quiz that I made that I feel is very doable. Okay. Um well I don't want to set you up too much. I guess if you don't know You're anything fine. about this. But I didn't I I tried not to be an asshole with the questions. It's it's hard to like balance the right. like you know. Um but in honor of spooky season, this is the horror movie quiz, Andrew. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure I've seen all these movies? Well, I've given you multiple choice. Okay. And I think uh, you're a smart guy. Uh, this Man. is because I couldn't find any. All of the quizzes I could find online were like 30 questions. Like, I'm not doing yeah. 30 questions. So. Just do the first 10. What's wrong with you? Yeah, just, you know. All right. Uh, you're the quiz master. Number one. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, and I created a random order i went to a random order generator so i oh, did so you didn't do this. all the all b's like yep, you used yep. to <laughs> i've learned i should have never told uh, you <laughs> nope, i can adapt and i can overcome <laughs> what is the name of the hotel in the shining let me think if i actually can do this before okay the first thing that popped into my head was the overland hotel okay but i don't think that's it but i will get it with the with the uh the uh multiple choice okay uh, number one, the Bates Motel. Number two, nope. the Overlook Hotel. Mm-hmm. Number three, the Overview Hotel. Number mm-hmm. four, the Sunset Hotel. Overlook and Overview? Yeah. Overlook. It is the Overlook Hotel. Great job. You gave me two overs, which is a little tough. <laughs> and I was close off the top of my head. Yeah. I have seen the movie. I've only seen it once. Very good movie. Yeah. But, um... uh, number two, who is the killer... In the Halloween franchise. The best goddamn bartender from... <laughs> I can't remember what he says. Um, the, the killer in the Halloween franchise? Yes. That is Michael Myers. That is Michael Myers. Yeah. Yeah. What were your, what were your names? Uh, Candyman. <laughs> well, it's Halloween. So I thought... Yeah, oh, no, yeah, 100%, no. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Jason Game Voorhees. Leatherface. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Number three, which of these is not an Alfred Hitchcock film? Oh, I might struggle with this one. The Birds, Psycho, mm-hmm. North by Northwest, Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby. It is indeed Rosemary's Baby. Is that a Woody Allen movie? No, it's a uh, equally problematic person, Roman Polanski. I see. I knew it was. Yeah. I knew it was a, a creep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number four. What is the name of the camp in Friday the 13th? Crystal Lake. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> camp Crystal Lake is correct. <laughs> Do you want to hear my other uh, my other camp names? Sh- shout out to Jacob. Shout out um, to Jacob. Yeah, I, I certainly do. Uh, camp Nowhere. Okay. Great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd movie. Uh, yeah. Great is in parentheses. But uh, Camp Crystal Cove. I thought uh, okay, I might get so you yeah. on the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Camp Crimson Lake. I thought maybe Ooh, there was some, okay. you know. Number five. How many? A- uh, Camp Hope. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, shout, out, shout out to heavyweights. <laughs> I saw something the other day. Oh, it was Aaron Rodgers' face. Someone had put his face over uh, Tony Perkins. in Tony Perkins. Or Tony Perkins in yeah. heavyweights where he's going, uh, how you doing, little Tony? Not great, Big Tony. <laughs> Whose fault is it, little Tony? It's not your fault. It's their fault. <laughs> it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Yeah. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah. But just how you how you doing, little Tony? <laughs> That's great. Not dude. great, Big That's, Tony. Uh, just freaking Ben yeah. Stiller, man. How many actors have portrayed Jason Voorhees? Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, this, uh, yeah. Sorry, Jacob. No. Uh, five, mm-hmm. three, ten. Or seven. I'm going with seven. It is ten, according to Wikipedia. Goddamn. I had a feeling it might have been ten. Jacob's yeah. going to hit you up. No, technically. Well, the, fucking... according to Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. This is where we're at. Which of these holiday films is not a horror movie? Okay. Okay. Black Christmas. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Violent Night, April Fool's Day. 
God damn. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking A or D. Okay. And Black Christmas. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm going Black Christmas. It was Violent Night. That's an action movie with uh, Santa. Guy who God damn Santa. it. That's the one with fucking David Harbour? <laughs> yeah. That's not a horror movie? No, it's like an action movie. All right. So, I, I, I trust your instincts yeah. on this. Uh, oh. I certainly have not seen it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. What is the name of the ship in Alien? Mm, go ahead. <laughs> the Bird of Prey. Mm-hmm. The Serenity, mm-hmm. the Discovery One, or the Nostromo? Fuck. <laughs> I don't think it's the Bird of Prey. The Serenity. It is the Nostromo. God damn it. Yeah. I was going to say the Nostromo because I thought he won't make up the Nostromo. But the... Uh... That could have been from something else. Right. I've seen that movie. I, I didn't. I didn't make any of them up. The Bird of Prey is uh, from Star Trek. That's what the Klingons use. Uh, Stupid name. Serenity is from Firefly, uh, in honor of oh, Fire yeah, Firefly truck. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. Discovery One is from Star Trek, I believe, and then the Nostromo. Okay. Uh, which of these films is not based on a Stephen King story? Oh man. Salem's Lot. The Shawshank Redemption, The Exorcist, Maximum Overdrive. I cannot grow old in Salem's life. <laughs> you know what he says? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> it's about vampires. The uh, Salem's See, plot. Why do you say that then? Well, because you can't grow old if you're a vampire. No, I'm talking about fucking Eminem. No, I know. What's he talking about Salem's Lot? Oh, I don't know, because it's cursed, I would assume. He wants to leave Salem's Lot. I figured he lived like in a project called Salem's Lot. He wants to leave because it's full of goddamn vampires, dude. Oh, okay, yeah, they're bloodsuckers. That's actually probably what it is. Right. That's probably exactly what it is. Um, The world is a vampire. Um, (laughs) That's the thing that I've heard, yeah. Salem's Lot, uh, Shawshank Redemption. What are the other two? Uh, The Exorcist. Maximum Overdrive. The Exorcist. The Exorcist is not a Stephen King story. Fuck yeah, You're dude! Like I was, dude, I was like, I was gonna say Shawshank, <laughs> yeah. and then I'm as soon as I heard The Exorcist, I'm like, I don't think he wrote like a demon movie like that. No, uh, Shawshank Redemption is based on a short story called Rita Hayward and the Shawshank Redemption, um, and then the rest of them. Uh, Maximum Overdrive is also, I believe, a short story. Funny thing about uh, Maximum Overdrive, if you watch the movie at the beginning. <laughs> there's this uh this title card that basically is like sometimes stuff happens and we don't know why it happens because the movie's about like uh cars and shit that come to life and they never explain why that happens in the movie <laughs> so at the beginning of the movie they're just like you know <laughs> sometimes they're home yeah sometimes some shit happens um and how many of the saw films mm. Is Jigsaw dead? Uh, fucking. <laughs> is that two films? Uh huh. One film. Zero films, meaning he's alive in every one. Mm-hmm. Five films. Didn't they bring him back? Don't answer that. I didn't answer they bring that. him back? I will. I will gladly answer it once you have uh, locked in your answer. Was there a prequel? Was there like a? Hey, remember when Jigsaw wasn't dead movie? <laughs> I'm going to go. Fuck, I'm going to be so mad if it's zero. I'm going to go two films. It is a whopping five films in which oh. Jigsaw is dead. <laughs> Why would you watch it if Jigsaw's dead, man? Because the story continues after he's dead, dog. Did they bring him back? Well, he comes back in each of these movies like in a flashback. Uh, oh, and it. then there's a prequel. <laughs> But like in the the there is a prequel. yeah the opening of I believe the fourth movie is like his autopsy which is supposed to be gnarly, uh, so sick, dude. and then they find a tape one of his classic tapes in his head and it's like the game is afoot or whatever. Oh god damn it! I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. The fuck. Uh, um, which one? I think I saw Saw Five in the theater. Is that the one that has the guy from Gilmore Girls in it? 
I believe so, yes, because he's the protege. That's how they keep going, is it's like the, this guy works for Jigsaw. You Listen, know. a lot of people like to trash the Saw movies. I think the early, I, I don't, I haven't seen all of them. I think they're a pretty effective uh, horror vehicle. It is honest. not the type of horror. I mean, I think I've seen all of them, and I've thought about rewatching all of them to see if I can make sense of this goddamn story. But uh, I, you shouldn't have to make sense of Saw. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I. The first movie is incredibly effective. It's really yeah. a great movie. Yeah, I'm not. I, and, don't, I don't like uh, crave torture movies. Right, right. No, I'm not saying it, you yeah. do. I'm saying they get yeah. harder to like because the kills just get gnarlier, and then the story yeah. is not as good. And then I'm like, well, what am I watching this for? Like, yeah, you know. And then it becomes they're implausible anyway, but it becomes incredibly implausible. Like, I start to wonder what's the smallest slight that John Kramer will accept before he puts someone in his saw game. You know, so you 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 stood on the left side of the walking escalator. <laughs> that is <laughs> that selfishness needs to be purged. Now you it very clearly <laughs> says walk on the right side. I mean, walk on the left side. Yeah. He says, I mean, yeah. I mean, walk on the left side, stand on the right side. God Sorry, I have it, cancer. John, you're, you're really <laughs> starting to slip. Uh, yeah. is, you were <laughs> you were went to the DMV without the proper paperwork filled out ahead of time. You wasted the, both mine and everyone else's time. Bureaucracy came to a halt due to your ineffective use of your time. You know, like at a certain point, I, I asked for no cilantro. <laughs> I have that thing that makes it taste like soap. <laughs> you have no idea. It ruins the entire dish. And I was thinking about Chipotle all goddamn day. <laughs> I've ordered chilies, chili con carne from here a hundred times. <laughs> and now... This, this before you is a vat of black beans. <laughs> <laughs> it's, whenever they mix entirely with the pinto bean, you will be crushed <laughs> beneath its weight. <laughs> You will have beans in your nose. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, they can't all be winners. This this probably will still suck on some yeah, kind of level. I'm sure, th I'm sure this is gonna suck really bad. Yeah. It's not the Rube Goldberg <laughs> shit that I've been come to know be known for. I wanna I wanna not just be known as the quote Rube Goldberg guy. Yeah, uh, it takes you know how long it takes? You know, the, the Home Depot guys are starting to look at me weird. <laughs> I, you say to me, John, why don't you go to the many Home Depots that are in your area? Have you not thought, Have you don't you think me, Jigsaw, noted <laughs> puzzle maker, has thought of that already? I have 50,000 Lowe's reward points. <laughs> <laughs> at that particular store. <laughs> And I will not. <laughs> they want me to become a franchisee. Think of the irony. <laughs> and I spend so much goddamn money at the lows. Uh, they don't blink twice when I say, I need your most painful screwdriver. <laughs> I need 77 uh, retractable saw blades. They don't even ask anymore. It's like, the you know what's oh. really gone? <laughs> you know what oh, was... and a tarp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what really burns my beans? is the inhuman way that we treat each other in social situations these days. <laughs> this I could have never gotten away with all of these murders in the 70s when people knew their neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in this same house, and these torture chambers are loud as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and no one even asks anymore. It's like they don't no want to know what John Kramer's... Because <laughs> nobody freaking goes outside anymore. <laughs> all of us are... He becomes a weird eco terrorist. All of us yeah. are so attached to our devices <laughs> that we can't. We're uh... slaves to our screens. You know what I mean? <laughs> the other day I got lost watching TikTok for three hours. <laughs> Tell me if I retained any of that information. I blinked four times in three hours. <laughs> End of tape. <laughs> and then you just hear the protege switching the tape. Yeah. And it just, it, uh, my eyes got tired. <laughs> I feel like. Where I, was I? I feel like. Anyway, I'm, the beans. I feel like. I put, a, I put hella Tabasco sauce in these beans. <laughs> oh, I have to give you some sort of out so that this seems morally on a line as opposed to just murder. Um. <laughs> 
I but, hope you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, before you are the components to make a zesty cilantro ranch. <laughs> Complete that before the beans fully mix. <laughs> and and it, it better be how I like it. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you how I like it. <laughs> you're saying this seems like a very particular slight that perhaps John Kramer, our noted customer, would have a problem with. But it's me, Jigsaw. <laughs> I'm a different man when I put the voice on. Uh, all right. <laughs> but, between Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street, how many films are there in those two franchises? 90? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> these, these guesses better not be close together. <laughs> Number one, 18. All right. Number two, 15. Too close, man. <laughs> well, you're not going to like this. Number three, 20. Oh, dude, there's just no way. There's just no way I'm going to get this right. I got a 25% uh, chance. I believe Unless the next one's four. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, 25. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is it? 18, 20. 15, 25. 15, 25. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Count the remake? I am counting the remake, and I'm only counting Freddy versus Jason once, even though they both appear in it. It'd be such a trick question if you counted them twice. <laughs> I had to make sure. I was like, oh, shit. Um, 18. 18. Classic guess, 20. 20 movies. God damn it. God damn it, good. bro. Sorry, dog. I, I know people won't agree. I know some people won't agree with me. You need three each. <laughs> I might. Be. You know what? We could keep that one because I looked up. I looked it up, but now I'm not so sure 20 is the answer. So <laughs> if Jacob wants to be the corrections department, well, I'll give that one to you next week. I'm not so sure 20 is the yeah. answer. But it was you know what? <laughs> it was a while ago. We need a recap. Dusty, in front of you is a vat of black beans. I'm sick of you giving me bullshit questions to yeah. our non, our, our our non-expert trivia. Go ahead. Last one. Okay. You're gonna hate this one too. And how? How did you think these would be easy? Do you think I'd be like, oh, dude, the new nightmare, and then the Jason <laughs> goes to fucking Manhattan, and then fucking? Why do you not think that I'm just gonna completely have to guess at these? I don't, I'm you. I would have had I would have had to completely guess at space. It just so happened I knew more about space than I thought. But they teach space in school. Like, yeah, you but... went to school. I didn't go to horror <laughs> movie school. I talked to my brother a lot. Yeah. you know. Uh, I think you did pretty good. Let's see. You got one. Well, well let's get the last one. Let's oh, get okay. the last one first before we aggregate. You know. No, because you're gonna hate it. You're gonna roast me for my question. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. How many grains of sand are <laughs> under Jason's feet Don't. when he uh, on his fourth step out of the lake? It's twenty-seven thousand. They tell you I was that up by six. Yeah, they tell you that in the DVD extras. <laughs> in the Nightmare Before and the Nightmare on Elm Street series, yeah. how many mm -hmm. times does Freddy Krueger's name appear in the title of the movie? So there's like you know. Nightmare on Elm Street colon X, whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is <laughs> look, they're questions. You have an equal <laughs> opportunity. You have a shot. You got a twenty five percent shot. That's right. Does his name appear? I asked you who won the most World Series. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, and I got that wrong. Uh, or no, I no, you nailed that. I one. got the amount of World Series wrong. Yeah, you're up by one. Yeah. I didn't even give you multiple choice. That's, that's true. I'm a real bastard. It's spooky season. <laughs> this is my saw game. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, is, this is. Before you is 10 <laughs> trivia questions. Yeah. Uh, Some of these are going to be a bitch and a half. <laughs> is his name mentioned? I'll tell you again. There are 11. Uh, or wait. Hold on. So that I don't. So that we don't have to do a corrections. Department. I'm trying to think of one. If I can name one of them. What, Nightmare on Elm Street? No, Freddy's dead. There's one. Okay. See? Silly Freddy, the Silly <laughs> Freddy Variety Hour. Silly Freddy and his, and his gang of misfits. 
Uh, Fred Head is <laughs> the sixth one. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there are nine films. Okay. I've given you two of the answers. What? Oh, Freddy versus Jason. Yep. So. Okay. How many? Four. (laughs) Is four one of your options? No. No, fuck. (laughs) Five, two, three or nine freddy's dead freddy versus jason yep freddy after next yep next freddy (laughs) (laughs) um two i think you might freddy's dead freddy versus jason a Nightmare Before Freddy. Freddy the Revenge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Freddy's List. Uh-huh. Um, Fred three? And, Fred and the Freddies. It is three. Look at you. Right. <laughs> I just could tell by your head nods. Yep. Um, what's the one I'm missing? You are, of course... Freddy's Dead and Freddy vs. Jason. Missing... Uh, you're looking this up. Fre- know this. Freddy's dead. The final nightmare. There's two Freddy's deads. Well, no, there's Freddy's back. <laughs> so, oh, Freddy's back is the one yeah. I didn't. Know. A nightmare on Elm Street. A nightmare on Elm Street Two. Freddy's revenge. Not Freddy's back. Freddy's revenge. Oh yeah, so. I didn't know Freddy's revenge. I've seen that movie. I think I liked that one. Nightmare on Elm I th- Street. Wasn't, wasn't that like Dream? No, three What's is that? Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors. All right. Four is the Dream Master. Uh, do you remember the page master <laughs> i do remember that. i'd love the shit out of that movie dude I, it that was a it was a uh trailer on rookie of the year that's the only reason i know that that movie exists nightmare on elm street 5 is the dream child freddy's dead the final nightmare west craven's new nightmare freddy versus jason and then they remade nightmare on elm street so yeah those are the ones i like freddy yeah i mean freddy are cool freddy's all right uh, so you got one, Some of the, two, a couple of the movies are really good. Three, four. Don't give me the last one. I guess two. <laughs> Five. There's a real bad run at the end there. You got five. Five out, out of 11. Ten? Out of 11. Fuck, <laughs> dude. God damn it. That's less I, than 50%. I've, I think I, that's the worst anybody's done on these. No, here's the thing. I mm-hmm. will admit that yeah. to some degree. Mm-hmm. I might have fucked you at the end with them being just number questions. So oh, I yeah, will... would you have gotten would you have gotten either of those? Uh, I might have got no because you no. called you called Freddy's Revenge, Freddy's back, right? You son of a bitch. So, uh, I will take I will take into account. You know, we're always learning, we're growing. Don't worry. <laughs> You don't know anything. You don't know horror movies. That's why it's not. You ask me horror. Mo- you ask me questions that you didn't know, <laughs> and you thought I might know them. No, I thought the. I'm perplexed. <laughs> I didn't know I had to be an expert in the thing I was asking you. No, I'm just saying, like, you know this thing a lot bit more than I do. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, some of them were questions that I had. Where I was like, God, I just thought of it, and I was like, ooh, that's a good question. But I could see how that would be a very difficult, or like, <laughs> that would be a very difficult question. No, well, listen, there's no there, there's no prize at the end of this. Right. You know, we're going to develop our quiz building skills. Yeah. My last quiz was a little too easy. Your last quiz was a little too hard, right? right? So, uh, we, we want to get like a, like a seven or eight, right? Right. We want to get like a seven or eight, yeah. or maybe a six. Six is cool. Yeah. You know? I even 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 four out of ten. I, I'm not mad at it. Sure. You know what I mean. So like we're we're we're. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I, I think we're doing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I, we'll work on it. You know. It once we get a zero, then the, then it's just a real. <laughs> then it's time to really. Then we got to take that conversation off pod. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you come in. You come into your house and you see a big vat of black beans. You know that I've had it with your trivia. It's, I'm just gonna give you just a finish this Bo Burnham lyric. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll I'll do it. I'll take it in stride. How about this? Okay. In Abbott and Costello's, who's on first? Yeah. 
Who's playing third base? Oh, man. Do you know who's playing second base? Because I figured you'd know who's playing second base. Who's on first? What's on second? Yeah, so the the, the next one is What's third base. What's his name on third? No. No? Who, well, who's on first? Who's on first, yeah. What's, You're like, who? Oh, yeah. God damn it. What's on second? Yeah. It wouldn't be where's on third, because that's not a phrase. You know, no. Yeah. It's not where. It's not a question. Uh, I'll tell you that. That's on third? No. I'm waiting for you to say it. Because you're going to say it eventually at the end of this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this for 20 minutes. Though. Yeah, no, I don't know. There it is. It's I don't know. Ah. I don't know. It's on third. Ah, that's why the bit works. <laughs> that's why it's a classic bit. That's the crux of the bit. Yeah. I was waiting. I was like, God damn it, say I don't know. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what if I just all the way around it, and I was just like, yeah. I got nothing, man. <laughs> you got no idea, man. Yeah. I'm like, no, you're just so close. Just keep. You're gonna. You're gonna land on it, man. Yeah. I don't got it. No, uh, <laughs> I don't got it. On third, I don't got. I don't got it. Playing left field. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, um, you ready to do this dozen? Let's do the dozen. This is dozen day. Of the trivia presented by Barstool Sports. I don't. I shouldn't have said presented by because they're not fucking paying us to do this. But yeah. they put this together. First three questions are always sports. The rest are general American culture. NBA going first. I'm ready for MLB. Excited because it's World Series week. They usually do theme stuff. Right. So I might get something good. Rest in peace, Fernando Valenzuela, by the way. I saw that. R.I.P. Michael Jenkins, Terrence Mathis, and Brian Finneran each started over 30 games at wide receiver for what NFC team in the 2000s? Well, that's not an NBA question. Wide receiver. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I, clicked, I clicked NBA, yeah. and then I started reading it, and I was like reading these names. And I'm like, okay, these don't sound like NBA players. And it said wide receiver, and I was like, I, that must have said NFL. But it doesn't. It's nope. NBA. That's it says NBA. Yep. Uh, they do this shit all the time. Yeah. Real real clown show over there at Barstool Sports. Yeah. Um I think that this is the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons. Uh because Terrence Mathis Denver Broncos. Terrence Mathis played for them and I don't think he played for anybody else. So Hell Nailed yeah. it. boy. Hell yeah, dude. I'm really smart about the NBA, so MLB, the Yankees swept the Padres in the 1998 World Series with this third baseman earned World Series MVP by batting 471 and hitting two home runs during the season. This, yeah. my friend, yes. if I got this one wrong, I'm jumping in traffic. <laughs> this was, for a time, my favorite player. Oh, His name is Scott Brocious. Hell yeah, dude. Could you imagine if he were in the age of po- uh, podcasting how good a last name Brocious is? I know, dude. Yeah. Or bad. Or whatever, yeah. yeah. My That's... friend played for him in college, and uh, he, my friend pinch ran in a game and scored scored a run and then got in trouble by the – well, no, didn't get in trouble. The umpire didn't catch it, but he had a can of chew in his back pocket, mm-hmm. and there's like a circle, and you'll get you get thrown out and your coach gets thrown out if you get caught with chew. And Scott Bros just grabbed him by the collar and took him, like, put him up against the dugout wall and was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, he said he's never been yelled at as much as he got yelled at by who was my hero in 1998, Scott Brosh. Yeah. Okay, if we get this hockey one right, if we happen to get this hockey one Things right. Things are looking okay. We got a chance. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, it's hockey. <laughs> unfortunately, so, yeah. Guy Germain is who I'm guessing, and I think that's somebody from the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> um, so, uh only allowing 191 goals, Nicholas Backstrom and Manny Fernandez earned the Jennings Trophy for this Western Conference team in 2006-2007. Mm, good for them. Yeah, interesting, huh? Yeah, pretty good. So let's see, Western Conference, the West side. Because Backstrom, I hear Backstrom, I think the Red Wings. The reason I think this sure, is I used to play NHL video game a lot. Fun and I remember hearing game. Backstrom, Backstrom, <laughs> right. like all this. And I would play as the Red Wings a lot, yeah. but probably not. Maybe Dallas Stars, yeah, the, Colorado uh, Avalanche. I believe the Red Wings are in the East because they're in Detroit. So uh, Detroit, they're kind of in the middle, right? I guess maybe. Clowns to the left of them, Joker's <laughs> to the right. <laughs> right. They've <laughs> never seen them while uh, Mile Road South of Tim. So uh, uh, okay, so there's the Sharks. The Sharks are generally. I sort of. 
uh, oscillate between the sharks, the red wings, the kings, the ducks. The ducks is not bad. You know what? Quack, Andrew. Fucking quack, dude. Quack. And if if we get this wrong and we get the rest of them right, we'll go. We'll, I think we tried the. We'll, I think we tried the, the 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 kings. We'll do it. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go ducks. Fucking quack, dude. Bro. Oh. Fuck the ducks, bro. Ducks don't fly together. Your sons Man, I'm going to feed them so much bread and blow up their stomachs. <laughs> um, brands and products. Right. Come to where the flavor is and pursue flavor have been taglines used by this brand of cigarettes. Um, I don't know why I think this is, but that's Marlboro, I believe. We'll do it. That's the first thing that popped into my head. Hey! Yay! Look at this. We're gonna get eight on this one. So here's um, the thing: cigarettes bad for you, sure. really bad. Cigarette sure. marketing, pretty cool. <laughs> Always cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Always cool. I miss it. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. I, I I understand why they don't do it. And I'm gonna be honest, dude. When I got some beers in me, I enjoy myself a cigarette every once in a while. They're cool. It's not bad. But but um. Yeah, the, uh, the, you know the camel's dope. Yeah. Uh, celebrity mashup. He's Joe Cool, dude. God oh, damn, that. <laughs> uh, that is a Jonas brother. Sure. And Ray Romano. I think that's Ray Romano. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't know what Jonas brother it is though, or even if it is a Jonas brother. But I no, think it's a Jonas. I brother. see a Jonas brother. I kind of see the dude uh, that was in Whiplash, but I think it's Jonas brother. Are you okay with Ray Romano? I am because I think that's Ray yeah. Romano. I have nothing on the other guy. So, uh, Gamma! <laughs> what about Joseph Jonas? Joe Jonas. Yes. Friends get to call him Joe. I don't know him. So. Oh, oh, God, damn God damn it! Fucking stupid Jonas brother. <laughs> um, I've always hated the Jonas brothers. <laughs> the, they're Rice on Johnson. your enemies list. Along with a Halloween-themed kids' meal, this major fast food chain is currently offering a Halloween-themed boo bag for adults. Dusty? <laughs> it's not one of the places I go, so... Who offers bags? Well, I guess they all have bags. Yeah. Bag? He like bags? Uh, you like bags? <laughs> yeah, I like bogs. <laughs> so, um, wouldn't be McDonald's. It's not Taco Bell. Uh... Like it's got. Why wouldn't it be McDonald's? Well, because they have they have the Happy Meal, so. Yeah, but they wouldn't say maybe it's a Halloween themed Happy Meal. Maybe or I guess I guess you can't discount McDonald's. I have not seen any signage for boo bags at the McDonald's by my work. This better be an actual major fast food sure. chain <laughs> and not like Church's Chicken or something stupid. You know? So, it's I'm thinking like a, a Burger King. Uh, who are some of the other guys? The BK Boo Bag? Yeah, I could see that. Let's go, Burger. Okay. Another stupid marketing ploy by Burger King. Nope. God damn it. God, we're so stupid. Um, <laughs> This is looking good after two. Yeah. Scott Brocious? Yeah. Remember Scott Brocious? Remember, remember back Falcons? when Scott Brocious was good? Lasting only one season, Randall Park and Melissa Fumero starred in this 2022 Netflix workplace comedy set in a video rental store. I like this show. It's called Blockbuster. It's about Blockbuster. I didn't even know that this God. existed. Got uh, ended on a cliffhanger. Canceled the old Blockbuster. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so like heroes. Yeah. Like uh, the real please. Blockbuster. Evil extraterrestrials resembling clowns invade a small Earth town in this cult classic 1988 sci-fi horror comedy. You're gonna die, clown. Uh, <laughs> I used to confuse this with the it. Uh, mini series from many years. What is it? What <laughs> I I thought it was this. Uh, this is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Clowns is with a K, by the way. Oh Jesus! Of course it is. Yeah. Good thing it wasn't Killer Clowns from Korea. That's very true. We'd It'd have three Ks. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have a three K situation. Can't, can't do that. K off. Um, <laughs> music. The 2014 hit song Bang Bang was a collab between Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, and this English singer, also known for her songs Domino and Price Tag. Remember Scott Brocious? Oh, what's her name? 
God damn it, we played Domino on our station and it drove me nuts and I hate this person because of the song. Hmm. <laughs> Start with an A. Zap Zappo Z- Yellow <laughs> Gado Yado Gado. You naming an- Lotto. Animaniacs? L- Lotto? Wrong! <laughs> it's not Lotto. What God, song does she dude. have? Uh, All right, we're double dipping the Kings, or unless you want to do something else. I think we should take another swing at the matchup or the mashup, because I think oh, because we can go Nick Jonas. Yeah, and it's Ray Romano. We got that right. So Ray Romano. What's the other one? There's Nick Jonas. Oh, I don't remember the other one. We're going. We're going Nick. Yeah. I guess it's Nick then. My guess would be Nick Jonas. Hey, get out of my way, Albertson's ad, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are you serious? I can't. Oh, okay, it's, it's here. I hope it's there. Hold on. Nick Jonas. It better be this top one. Hey! Rah. Oh, we got it! Look hey! That. 21% suck my balls. Only 20% got Scott Brocious? What's wrong with people, man? Who is... Oh, Lotto sings the song Lottery. This this might be a situation where I'm like, well, people clearly know the Montreal screw job, and you're like, Scott Brocious, who doesn't remember when the Yankees <laughs> played the Padres? Uh Jesse J. Sure. So close with Lotto. Yeah. Uh chain restaurants, Wendy's. Uh, ah, that seems like a Wendy's thing. Sure. I think we should have worked our way down. I I jumped the gun a little bit. NHL, Minnesota Wild. Never. Of course. 10,000 questions. This is as, Everybody knows that Western state yeah, in Minnesota. This is as impossible as my horror movie quiz. For, uh, for movie you. to movie. The Gods Must Be Crazy. You ever see that? Uh, yes, but I don't know who's in that movie. The Farewell. Everybody okay. is in The Gods Must Be Crazy. Well, I don't it's know, one of those everybody's. I don't know movie. who's in the, the Farewell either. Oh, Aquafina. Aquafina. Wait, is this a different movie? Oh, that's... Oh, it's The Farewell. That's yeah. The Farewell. <laughs> she said the gods must be crazy. Oh, I'm thinking of It's a Mad, Mad, yeah. Mad, Mad World. Yeah. Nobody is in The Gods Must Be Crazy. Uh, there's a... Um, Dude, we got to go with a, the top uh, guy. I watched the shit out of The Gods Must Be Crazy when I was a kid. It was like... Yeah, they find uh, he finds remember. a Coke bottle, and then he's like, "It's a yeah. gift from God or whatever." And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a funny uh, movie. To but... you don't want to you don't want to go with mm, Zhao. <laughs> I you know I would, but I think he's only in the Gods Must Be Crazy Part Two. Let's so. see if there's a Brian O'Shaughnessy. I feel like I've heard of him. Uh-huh. Patty O'Brien, I I, probably not true. <laughs> Jamie Luis, of course. A lot of these people. I haven't don't heard have of any picture. of these no, guys. I don't know who any of these people are. So what's in who's in the farewell? This one's bullshit. Look at this. Aquafina, yeah. Zhao Zhuzhen, Zi Ma, Diana Lin, Zhang Yangbo, Aoi Mizuhara. I just right. skip all the people no with no yeah, real picture. If I if how are we gonna do this? If I get this, I'm a legend. Yeah. All right. Do you want to just go top guy? Just go top guy. Okay. Oh god. He's still around. Good for him. He's in a bunch of foreign movies. Wait, what's uh, go up? The Miracle Worker, bro. Hell oh killer. no, he's in Blood Diamond. Hell yeah, he's in Blood Diamond. Get in there, get that Blood Diamond. Give me that Blood can, Diamond. Click that one. Yes. Do you know anything that Aquafina's in? Yes. All right, hell yeah, dude. Okay. Listen, I'm not getting racial. This guy <laughs> might be in something with that other guy. No, <laughs> Damon Hunsu. He's in a ton of shit, dude. That guy rules. Um. God damn it! What? Okay, uh, go DiCaprio, and then go to Inception with Cillian. That has Cillian Murphy in it, or no? Yeah, yeah. Then we go to Oppenheimer, and we go to Josh Hartnett. Then we go to Lucky Number Slevin. Hate the name of that. Which has Ben Kingsley in it. Who is in Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings, with Aquafina. 
who is God in damn. Farewell. Look at you. USA. Dude. USA. That's a good, that's a good one, dude. That, it's a six. We usually don't like a six, but dude, what do you, I, you celebrate that six? What do you dog. want me to do? You celebrate yeah. that six. Shortest possible was three. That might be the first one I've seen. Yeah. Oh, where it's not two. The Gods Must Be Crazy had the first guy, Marius Wires, who's Blood in Diamond. Blood Diamond yeah. With Basil, or probably Basil Wallace, who's in Rapid Fire with Zima. And then he Zima was in the, for the great. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. moron. I yeah. I, I challenge AI to get there faster. Like anybody that's not AI to get there faster. We'll do the the we haven't done a Rotten Tomatoes game in a while. We'll oh yeah, I haven't even been playing the Rotten Tomatoes game. What the, did they? What's going on here? They might have they might have uh, ixnade their game. Their aim gay. Um, Daily Tomato will return. It says. <laughs> uh, this game is currently on hiatus. It's never coming back. All right, I I play one called. Uh, Cinematrix, C I N E M A T R uh, I X, and we can both work on that one. One of these days, we got to do a contexto. Is that the Remember one that, that one? you like? There's like a word. I don't. I'm not saying I like it. I think it's a cool game though. There's like a word that you have to guess. Oh fuck that game! I hate that game. <laughs> I got it nine guesses one I, time, dude. which is literally unbelievable <laughs> yeah you're a, you're a, nine guesses is crazy yeah, you should you should be the president because yeah that that game drives me nuts where i just like balloon <laughs> car windshield whatever like you know uh yeah and it tells you like it, it, it says not like it gives you a number value for how close you are to the word yeah that is the word of the day and it can be any literally any word yeah uh so here's cinematrix Oh, so this is like uh, this is like uh, yeah, but the immaculate grid for baseball. Yeah, um, two word title and Tim Allen. The hold on. Yeah, no. Yeah, look, this is your time to cook, dude. God damn it! I'm trying to fucking remember that boxing movie he was in. Wild Hogs, not a boxing movie. Wild Hogs. Hell yeah, dude. Seventeen percent, not bad. Uh -huh. What is it? What is the something Joe? Uh, Joe somebody. Joe somebody. Yeah. I bet that has a better rating than than Wild Hogs. Yeah, because it gives you the percentage of people who guess that one. Yeah, and you want a really low percentage. I bet. Well, I bet. I bet Joe somebody has a good one. <laughs> eighty plus percent Rotten Tomatoes score. Tim Allen, The Santa Claus. I bet has a eighty plus percent. It might. Uh, Toy Story. I would bet. It has a really high one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. But let's pick the but, most obscure Toy Story that it can be so we can get our percentage down. I bet most people don't pick Toy Story 4. Do you think it has an 80 plus percent? Yeah. All the all the Toy Story movies are uh, rocking and rolling. 9%. That's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, so we need one with a number in the in the title, and Tim Allen, Jungle to Jungle. I was going to say Jungle to Jungle. I bet has the lowest because you get a lot of the Santa Claus two, the Santa Claus three, and the Toy Stories. But eleven percent, a little okay. higher than I thought it would be. So we did yeah. really well picking the obscure Toy Story. Yeah, uh, those are always a crapshoot because you never know. Chris Rock two word title Dogma. How about that? Huh? <laughs> um, what's the football one? The longest yard. Does it say uh, two word does title? The count? Without... Yeah. Unless it specifies that it doesn't, it does. Oh, okay. Um. Um. Oh. Um. What's the one where he plays the dead rich guy? I think that's down to earth. Oh, that's three. Yeah, it is down to earth. Yeah. Ooh, uh, this uh, is kind of a this is kind of a tough one. Because uh, I'm trying to think, is he in? Is he? He's not in Blue Streak. That's Chappelle. Yeah, he's not an undercover brother. That's a two word title. Um, I don't know a lot of Chris Rock movies, to be honest. Does he? Is he in any animated movies? I'm sure he's in animated movies. He's got that, <clears throat> that voice. Yeah, he's what? in uh, Madagascar. I was going to go back to Down to Earth. He's in Madagascar, 
So I yeah, guess yeah, car's a word. Madagascar. Right. Um, <laughs> does Madagascar two count? Yeah, but I think it has like a a thing, you know, like Madagascar two back in the habit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, shit, this is he in like a Spike Lee movie? I'm sure, but I don't remember what it what it would be. Um, we can skip that one for now. Yeah, eighty plus percent Rotten Tomato score. Chris Rock. That might be harder than goddamn two word title. We got to figure I'm, out. We got to think of three Chris Rock movies. I'm gonna say, uh, bigger and blacker, because the his stand up special would count. Does it? Do you think it has an eighty percent on Rotten Tomatoes? It has to, right? It's like really popular. It's not on here, which is weird because David Cross, bigger and blacker, -er is on here. <laughs> is it okay? Well, there goes that. Because um, the longest yard doesn't have no. I wouldn't. Think, 80%. I, well, I would not. Number and title is he in Madagascar too? Yeah, um, but I'd go Lethal Weapon four if I were gonna go. Is he in Lethal Weapon? No, he's only in the fourth. God damn one. it! <clears throat> Nine percent. Okay, that's not bad. That's not so bad. just everybody listening, we got to get these grid things, and we want a low number because that means that we're picking something that not everybody else is picking. Yeah, and then it'll uh, show you what's the most popular answers, and then what are the rarest answers. Um, Chris Rock movies. Literally, I only own I only know Down to Earth. I think <laughs> somebody's somebody's screaming at the uh, at the at their phone right now. Yeah, um, dude, there's got to be there's going to be one that really pisses us off. I keep yeah. going to like, oh, he's in Shrek. No, he's not. That's fucking Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Um what about tambourine? Because tambourine's his other stand-up special. Well, when I type in Chris Rock, nothing pops up. Just Chris Rock. There's something called tambourine, but I bet that's not I it. I bet that's not it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I think the Madagascar movies are pretty. I think Madagascar probably has above eighty percent. And I, he's in the first one. Yeah, I could be w wrong. I bet it does. Try again. Oh, shit. It's not. Okay. Well. That's surprising. I, Those are usually I don't dunks. know. What good movies is Chris Rock in? Dude, you know what he's in? He's in Wild Hogs. We could have fucking. Oh, I burned <laughs> Wild Hogs. I could have I could have done Joe somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's. That definitely doesn't have an 80 plus percent Rotten no. Tomatoes score. That sucks. We should have looked at the other criteria. Yeah, yeah. What's the last one? Leslie Mann. French toast. French toast. Um, she in Knocked Up? That's yeah, she's title. in Knocked Up. What else is she in? Is there any more obscure things? Yeah. Um, this is 40 is probably the other, the last category. Well, we also need an 80 plus percent Rotten Tomato score for that. Right. But I doubt this is 40 has that. Do you think Knocked Up even has that? Is this is this critic score or audience score? Critic score. And I, I think we looked. 40-Year-Old Virgin doesn't have... Uh, doesn't no, have it's it. ass. Yeah. Ass on there. I don't... 40-Year-Old Virgin works for a number in the title. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have... I don't have a huge bench of uh, Leslie Mann films, unfortunately. I think she's funny, but I don't, you know, she well, doesn't she star in, like, in a lot of movies. She's in it. She's in some Cameron Diaz movie. The other woman, I think, is the name of this movie. Uh, that wouldn't, but that I don't. Unless that might be an eighty plus percent. I don't think it is. Was she in like a Mister Deeds or like a Billy Madison or something like that? She's. I'm in, trying to think because I saw her in something before the Forty Year Old Virgin. I think isn't I she in Big Daddy? It, it Big Daddy, I think it yeah. might be Big Daddy. Two, uh, two. She's a uh, John Stewart's girlfriend, I think. The we wasted the good surprise on you. Look at that, sixteen percent. Yeah. 
80 plus percent Rotten Tomato score is going to be tough, I think, yeah. unless knocked up. Unless we can, yeah. Or this is 40, I guess, might. I haven't seen this is 40. Which one do you think is rated higher? Maybe not. By the way, if we didn't use this is 40 for 80% Rotten Tomato score, we should have used it for number and title. Yeah. Because it probably has a lower score than 40-year-old version. Yeah. We'll get better at this. Um, it's my bad for the most part. I say we shoot our shot and do knocked up uh, for the 80%. Is caps lock on or am I just? No, I think your your caps locked. Look at us. Yay. 40%. It's okay. We got it. Yeah, I don't know that there's an obscure Leslie Mann movie that's going to... Oh, I forgot to guess his left goes down, everyone, so you, we, once you get one wrong, you're not yeah, going to You can't fill out the whole the grid. grid. So, two... Chris Rock. Fuck. I do not know this two-word this two word Chris Rock <laughs> movie is is driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, um, unless he's in, like, B-movie or some shit. Like, or isn't he in Grown Ups? Is he in Pootie Tang? He's in Pootie Tang. Yes. Isn't he in Pootie yes. Tang? That's his movie, yeah. There, there you go. Do. Look at you. That's a, that's a pull. That's, oh, that's a pull. Yeah. That's from downtown. I think he also is in Grown Ups, though. Yeah. 10% for Pootie Tang. Not bad. That's pretty good. Top 15% of players. Very. We did it. Where, where do you get to see the... You go hit the arrow. Uh, most popular correct answers. Toy Story, Toy Story 3... Santa Claus 2 for number and title. So yeah. we're, we're right about that. Grown Ups for Chris Rock two-word title. He was in oh, New Jack City. New Jack City. That's right. He plays a crackhead um, in New Jack City. Grown Ups 2 for the number and title. This is 40 is the most is actually the most popular number okay. and title for Leslie Mann. So we did the right thing doing the 40-year-old yeah. version. And 40-year-old version 40-year-old. has over 80% according to them. So that's that it's gotta be it's gotta be audience score then. Unless I we're just not remembering things properly. I thought it was close, but it wasn't exact. So And then knocked up most popular two word title for Leslie Mann and then uh fifty two percent of people said grown ups for the two word title for, for Chris Rock. Fifty six percent said Toy Story Two. Uh fifty seven percent said knocked up for Leslie Mann. Rarest correct answers. Three geezers for Tim Allen. The what? The Pixar story. Oh, get the fuck the out of here. I hate those. Because that's a documentary. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Three geezers for uh, the other one, too, for the uh, for the number and title. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't. This is too small for me to see. That's what she said. I, it's something that starts with a K and a G uh, for the rarest two word okay. Chris Rock movie. Albert Brooks. Uh, that's a documentary about Albert Brooks. Defending my life. Yeah. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop Two for the number one for Chris Rock. Sure. Motherless Brooklyn for the uh, two word title Leslie Mann. I don't know what that middle one is. Make this bigger, dude. <laughs> I don't know that it's supposed to be projected on a a, a screen share. You know. I'm looking at my actual screen. Peabody something for the uh, 80%. Oh, Peabody and Sherman, I bet. The cartoon. Okay, there you yeah. go. And she's the one for the... Uh... Wait. Oh, because one, but it's spelled out. Uh... Um, and then 21% of people got the Chris Rock 80%. That's the one that most people didn't get. Right. And then... Uh, 46% of people got the 80% Leslie Mann, which we got with Knocked Up. So, yeah. Look at us. Yeah, we nailed it's not it. Not bad. Look at us. We can. I like that one. We'll improve. Yeah, I like that's, uh, you know, whenever you get a really low one, like I think I got one that was like 0% one time, I was like, man, this feels good. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did on baseball that it was like a percentage, uh, percentage thing. Yeah. Um, I'll show you what the baseball one looks like. We're not going to do it, but like Dodgers, A's, Rockies, Phillies, 300 career uh, home runs and silver slugger. So you got to get Dodgers, Dodgers who won a silver slugger. Right. Uh, We can do like Matt Kemp, which is not going to be a low percentage one, 10%. And then 
Rockies who won a silver slugger. Craig Biggio. <laughs> Wait, he didn't play he for them. He was an Astro. Yeah. Um, uh, we can go probably um, LeMahieu. DJ LeMahieu. Oh, sure. Wrong. Ooh. God damn it. <laughs> fucking Larry Walker. Dude, I'll just do Larry Walker. I'm going to fucking get it right and we'll fucking move on. You know what I mean? Yeah. 17%. 300 career home runs and silver slugger. Literally pick one. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll do fucking uh, Rafael Palmero. So, yeah, that's that's that. We don't have to do that. Okay. 1%. Thing. Look at that. Yep. Dude, I didn't know he played for the Rockies, so there you go. No, Silver Slugger. So that's 300 career home runs. Oh, Silver just Slugger. anybody. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, send me that. I think I'd have fun trying to do that. Yeah, so. uh, MLB.com slash Immaculate Grid. Oh, sick. I'll send it to you right now. All right. Well, anyway. Uh, but anyway. To anybody, yeah. uh, to <laughs> anybody who's still here. Uh, if you want to play Cine- literally nobody, yeah. If you want to play Cine Matrix, send us your scores. Try the to- only way anybody is still listening is Mary is in New York running her marathon and she can't. She can't. Right, right. It. She's she's yeah. she's looking. To, she's looking for the newest episode. She's, of she's in else. jail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, good luck to Mary running your marathon. Uh, fucking kill it. Uh, thank you to everybody who listened. You know what? Anybody else running a marathon? Hope you hope you have a great time. Uh, thank you to everybody who listens. We appreciate you. Uh, Andrew dropped the stuff at the top. We'll be back again next week and we'll see if the trivia is any better. We hope it is at the start March yeah. podcast. Love you. Bye. <laughs>